Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep this short. Ubiquity has just released a new Unify OS version, it's version 3, and with it a new network controller version, and this release is a major one. In fact, it's one of the biggest they have done in a long while, and the list of new, new features and improvements is big. One of the most intriguing new features they are bringing is native ad blocking. But is it any good? Is it even working? And how does it compare to competing products like Piehole, for example? Let's find out. everyone so we are at the computer and for full disclosure at this day of recording this release is still in a release candidate stage but there's a good chance that by the time that you will be watching this video it will already be generally available or at least imminent to be released as generally available and as you can see the list of improvements and bug fixes is long this release is a major one but we are going to focus on this feature right here, the native ad blocking. So what we are going to do in this video, I have already taken a UDR I have deployed in a remote location. I've already upgraded it and I have a virtual machine running on this location that we will access. In fact, this is the virtual machine. I have a pie hole running on this location. So we are going to do some tests without any ad blocking and then we are going to run the same tests when the machine is subjected to a piehole DNS server and then we are going to turn the piehole off and switch on the native Unify ad blocking and we are going to run a few tests. So guys, the first thing that I want to do is to make sure that my virtual machine is currently running with the UDR as its preferred DNS server and in fact I'm going to completely delete the alternate DNS server so it won't leak out to the public DNS server. Right now the UDR, uh, the new ad blocking feature is turned off so let's open up a web browser and go to some sites that I know are nefarious with a, a lot of ads for example speed test and as you can see, ads all over. Let's go to CNN.com. You can see ads. Let's go to ESPN.com. Ads again. In fact, we don't even need to go into individual sites. There is a, a, a website, a very good one to test the efficiency of ad blocking. If you go into a Google search and type ad block test the first result will take you to this site right here and now this site is going to do some testing against known ad vendors and as you can see right now without any ad blocking at all almost 90 percent not almost exactly 90 percent of the ads were not blocked at all so what we are going to do right now is we are going to subject this virtual machine to the Pihole DNS server. And even though it's not really mandatory, what I like to do just for a good measure is now to disconnect the virtual machine from the network and then connect it again just to cut any existing TCP connections so there's a clean break between DNS servers and let's make sure that my remote desktop is now broken it is not responding let's connect the virtual machine again to the network all right so we are back online and now that we are on Piehole as our DNS server again just to make sure Let's go ahead, let's go again to speed test. Sorry. I just want a visual representation that ads are being filtered. And as you can see, they are indeed filtered. 
I can close out of here. And let's run the ad blocking testing again. And as you can see now, the results are completely different. 84% success rate to Pi-hole. And this Pi-hole instance is very lightly customized. I think that I only added one or two lists other than the default ones. So these are very good uh, success uh, results. And now the interesting portion of the video, now we are going to again subject the virtual machine to the DNS server that is running on the UDR itself. Again, I'm going to cut the virtual machine network connection and reconnect it. And now let's turn on the Unify native ad blocking feature on the UDR. How we, how we do that? First of all, we go into the, Unify, into the UDR settings page, go into traffic management and turn ad blocking to enabled. Select the networks you want ad blocking to be uh, enabled on and apply changes. One of the first uh, downsides that have struck me that have struck me in this let's say unify implementation of ad blocking is the lack of management or customization abilities. It's either off it's uh, it's either off or on and unlike Pi-hole there's nothing you can customize about it and I think that uh, at least I haven't seen any way to whitelist if you got something blocked by mistake. I don't see anywhere uh, you can unblock it. All right, so we have enabled ad blocking on our UDR. Let's go back to the virtual machine and let's run the test once again. And now we are getting 78%, which is a bit less, but again, a very, very impressive, uh, let's say, results. Maybe in future releases, unless we get a few more uh, customization abilities, I am going to uh, recommend people to use it uh, if they're less of a tech-savvy kind of a person. But other than that, the results are good, but without being able to manage the ad blocking, I don't see at least myself at this point switching over to the native Unify ad blocking. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like so that more people will be able to see it and subscribe and join our Facebook groups. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye.